Well, I'm out here in uh, Abbotsford at the Petrocan uh, Electrify charging station. It's a 350 kilowatt uh, station here on Watcom Road. It's uh, where the Tim Hortons and that is. Um, so I'm just uh, checking it out and seeing how it's how it compares to the Electrify Canada. And so far, I'm sitting at. 119 so let's I'm gonna go out and I'll show you the uh, the charger outside so you can see right there I'm at 20% I'm getting active 120 kilowatts um, a really good rate only 27 cents compared to electrify Canada which was 57 cents so it's half the price I'm getting the same speed and you can see right there that it's actually uh, charging. I've got the green flashing light. So you can see right here, I'm getting 119 kilowatts of power coming in at a state, uh, state of charge at 22. Again, for half the price of Electrify Canada, which is charging 57 cents. So Electrify Canada charges 57 cents per minute for anything above 100 kilowatts. The Petrocan charger just charges 27 cents straight up, no matter what, per minute. So right now I am getting 118 kilowatts. So it's really good. You can see right there, I've got 24%. So you can see it's, it's, it's charging really quick. I'm really happy with uh, this charging, especially the price. Um, 27 cents a minute uh, it's affordable and I can charge for 10 minutes it's two dollars and 70 cents and we'll take a look here on the app you can see on the app right now uh, I started with 18 percent I'm now at 22 percent I'm getting well they're providing 121 kilowatts and I'm actually adding 117 kilowatts to the battery. So there is some loss. I don't have any heating or anything on, but I've only been charging for three minutes and I've added five kilowatts for 54 cents. So we're still sitting there. You can see we've added seven kilowatts right there. So let's see here. So for four minutes, I've added 7.4 kilowatt hours. And according to Tesla, I've added seven kilowatt hours to the battery and it's cost me 81 cents. So let's go ahead and we'll just let this run for a while. But I can tell you, I'm really happy with the Petrocan 350 kilowatt. It's definitely a, quite a bit of savings compared to um, the Tesla V2s for sure. Again, uh, I'm looking at four minutes charged for four minutes for 81 cents. And again, at Squamish, I would have been charged a lot more. So now we just got an update. Seems like it updates about every minute. So we've charged for five minutes. We've added almost nine kilowatts and it's cost me $1.35. So this is, is downright amazing. It's still holding strong at 119 kilowatt. I'm now back up to 31%. So from, again, over here, if we look at that, it says we've gone from 18 to 30% in five minutes. Well, we're almost at six minutes pretty soon. No, we'll let it run. I'm really happy with this price. Again, if I look over here, we're actually at 32% and we've added 11 kilowatts. So it just updated and it's saying six minutes, 11 kilowatts. So that's about right, because if we look at 119 kilowatts, that's basically two kilowatts per minute for 27 cents. So you divide the 27 cents by two. So it is definitely cheaper than charging at home. The only difference is we need to sustain a high charge. So if we could get a higher charge and stay above the 120, so that we just bumped up to 120, then we'll do really good.
So let me cut back in in a couple minutes and we'll just see how this goes. So we've been charging for seven minutes now. <clears throat> we'll wait till we get to the 10 minute mark and then uh, we'll see where we're at. So yeah, the app only updates every minute. So it's not updating constantly, it's just once per minute. There we go, so we're now at 10 minutes and we've added 20, uh, delivered 20 kilowatts. You can see right there we've added 19, but we're up to 122, 123 uh, kilowatts. So we're still sustaining a, a, a decent charge. Anything above 100 is decent. And I would assume that we'll probably get down to maybe 100 at 50%. Uh, but you can see here, we've charged for 10 minutes and PetroCan has only charged me $2.70. Now, this same charge, again, I must state, at Tesla V2 charger, the one in, um, the one in Squamish would have charged me $13. Now I can go ahead and let's take a look while this is charging. I'll look at a, a convenient charging station, a close one to here. So Well, the one at, at, uh, so the one, so you can see right there, this is crazy. So this is the uh, Abbotsford Supercharger. That's the closest one to here. It is a 250, but you can see that for between 100 and 100 kilowatts, they're charging 98 cents. And we're being charged 27 cents. That's a, that's a huge difference. 71 cents per minute more to charge at the Tesla supercharger. So here we are, we're at 50% now uh, within 13 minutes, because this is a little bit delayed. <clears throat> But I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Um, the next update's gonna show that it's a lot slower. Uh, so at 14 minutes, it's gonna drop down to like 110 or, or something like that. Cause right now it's saying 105. So it's, it's dropping. Like I had, had said earlier, around 50% is gonna be around 100 kilowatts, which is really good still. So $4 to go from 18% to, it's gonna be 53 or 4%. So now um, just a quick update here, we're sitting at 54%. Uh, we've been charging for 50 minutes. No, it's not gonna be anywhere near as fast as a V3 supercharger, but a V3 supercharger is a lot more expensive. Uh, this is just a test the functionality of the CCS adapter with the local CCS providers here in, well, British Columbia at least, which is Electrify, Electrify Canada, and then PetroCan. Now there are BC Hydro ones. I don't know that there's any that support above 50 kilowatts, but I did try a 50 kilowatt one and I got about 42 kilowatts. And that's what I would expect. Is back to like Chatamo uh, speeds. So the speed is dropping uh, again. We're now sitting at 89. So we've been charging for 17 minutes and we've gone from 18 to 58%. So we've added 40% in 15 minutes. It's not lightning speed, but you know, for the price, $4.59, it's super cheap and we're looking at 32 uh, kilowatts have been added. Our speed has dropped uh, to 85 kilowatts. We've added 32 kilowatts and we're at 60%. So this has been a successful test of the PetroCan CCS charging 
especially on the 350 kilowatt uh, stations. At this point, I'm just gonna end the test. So I'll show you how we uh, stop the uh, charging here. So you can see on the app, you can just hit stop charging. Or you can, and you can confirm it. Let me go ahead and disconnect the uh, charger from the uh, CCS charger. So you can see here it's charged for 18 minutes, 36 seconds. We've added 34.6 kilowatt hours of energy delivered. That's not what's added to the battery. It's pretty good. And so you can see over here, we all we need to do is just pull it apart. And then pull this off and then we're just going to replace that there you go that's our final five dollars and two cents for 18 minutes 18 minutes 36 seconds from 18 to 61 percent so here are my final thoughts on the petrocan 350 kilowatt ccs charger out here in Abbotsford. So I arrived at a pretty low state of charge, 18%. It took about 18 minutes to get up to 61%. Their charge rate is 27 cents per minute. That's really fantastic. It's super cheap. So for five bucks, I went from 18 all the way up to 61%. Now for 18 minutes at the local Tesla, supercharger, which is a V3 in Abbotsford, is 98 cents per minute for 100 to 180 kilowatts. So I ended up getting, that's about $18 from Tesla's supercharger, or I can charge here at Petrocan for five bucks. Anyway, I'm extremely happy with the Petrocan 350 kilowatt uh, CCS chargers. They're gonna save a lot of money if I hit those instead of the Tesla superchargers on road trips. And then where I can't get to a Tesla charger, there are some communities that just don't have um, Tesla yet. Well then hopefully either BC Hydro or Electrify Canada or Petrocan will have these chargers for us. So um, extremely happy with this test today. Um, it's half the price that Electrify Canada charges because they're charging 57 cents a kilowatt for anything above 90 kilowatts. And the thing that's with the Electrify America is if you start charging at that 57 cents and you walk away and then you come back a half hour later and you're only getting a very trickle in, you're still paying 57 cents. They don't drop it down like Tesla does. It's straight up so I'll have to check and see what Petrocan does because right now it's just a straight 27 cents so 27 cents that's it it's pretty good anyway I hope you like this video and if you're interested in any of these CCS uh, tests I'm doing and you want me to test one of your chargers that uh, you have questions on leave a comment and I will check a look at it